Oh. Game one of my dynasty. I don't care how I am. You got one chance. Nice guy. Oh yeah, let's do that. Seven nothing. Offense has its first opportunity of the day. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply March Stoops took a little vacation. How these guys play. If they make plays, they've got a shot to win this one. No, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win this one. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no game land. Got stuck on first down. It's second and ten. Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. Facing a third down and short from the 26. Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. And the Golden Eagles line up to punt it away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. 
Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. You want to talk about a drive where you impose your will? That's what they did running it down for a touchdown, David. There is nothing more pleasant than that. To be physically down, the run is coming. You know it's coming, and you can't stop. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano y mano up front, and your guys getting the push. They know you're running it, and they still can't stop. Just a simple power play. Power football. Be strong. Be big. Be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game. Make them feel you. Keep them off offense. They're facing a third down. Yep. Back to throw. It's Vandergrift. Got his hand downfield. He found plenty of room and he gets it to the 39 yard line. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one, they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. They feed him again. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, Kentucky! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the Hallelujah Land. I know we're only in game one, but in this half, you've got to be excited about what we've seen from this offense. Really nice rhythm quarterback spot command on the field with respect to what they're trying to do. And what up, 14? I can't wait to see what this offense does this year. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Fellas, a very interesting scene right now with this marquee top 25 matchup. Georgia is currently trailing, but if this young star leads a comeback today, he could join Matthew Stafford and Stetson Bennett among the greats to play in Athens. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Clemson. Your boy KC has you covered here in the studio, guys, in case anything changes in this game. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. After the run, second and media. The give to the back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play. Able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Lining up to convert third down. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And this defense has its work cut out to get this dude on the ground. He we thought serious they were going to on his way to picking up the first. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You can throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through. Gets we are miscommunicated. On the ground, it's Clark. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Caught over the middle, it's Thomas. And after the tackle, we are headed to the end of the first quarter. This offense has a second down play. The give to the tailback. Obliterates him, still on the move. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. The Golden Eagles come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. They get him down, but he does pick up three to the 32-yard line. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking to pass, it's Rodemaker. Oh, what a grab by the defense. Going the other way, and he's got room. The 20, inside the 10. And he's going.
Yes! That was a bad throw. Lining up to attack one more round of that lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead moves to 21. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. And he'll just take me, and this drive will start at the 25. Southern Mississippi ready to send that offense back onto the field. They've taken three haymakers right across the jaw, down 21-0, but David, now the chance to answer. Man, this defense has been suffocating, and this is so hard. When you don't have the answers early, man, and the defense hits you in the mouth, you got to find some plays quickly here to try to make this a football game. This is an offense that has a lot of pride. They're not used to being in this position. I think it's going to take one effort, one individual great play to finally wake this team up and get them back some momentum. We are in a comfortable lead. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. He's got enough to move the chains for Kentucky. All right, nothing flashy there. He just didn't want to for the first down. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. Might as well give it to him again. Trying to impose their will on the ground as he stopped after a five-yard pickup to the 33. Halfway there on first down and second and five. They'll go to the ground. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. Line is set on third down. To the air, it's Vandergrift. He's right on target. They are on the move as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 28. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls. Where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. He's up to 81 yards rushing, and that is quite an impressive first half here in this season opener. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. They make the stop after he pick up a three balls at the 18. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Wants to throw on third down. Gonna try to pop one on the screen. And into the end zone. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Kentucky! Oh my gosh. 
shown that when the very opening whistle, this offense has been in sync, they've been explosive, defense has had no answer for them. This unit is going to give teams problems because of their playmaking all year long. And the extra point makes it 28 to nothing. That last drive covered 52 yards on their way to the score. And no chance at a return. Here they'll start this drive at their own 25. Southern Mississippi has it back in the Golden Eagle offense headed to the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he saw was the ball carry. Yeah, great job, great field. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are losing 245 pounds. He didn't even try. The Golden Eagles will bring the punt team onto the field. Great contact on that ball as it just hangs up in the sky. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. What a good mix of plays, keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they want. This defense doesn't know how to react from getting punched in the mouth on that last drive. So in this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action, it sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. Complete downfield. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move the thing more than 40 yards down the field before it's finally stopped. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. And they wrap him up. And not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. Nice job by the running back there on that angle back against Southern Covers. He wasn't in a hurry. He was able to sort of find the soft spot in the defense and just gear down, make himself an easy target. This offense has put on a display in the first half, and they have a chance to tack another one on before the break. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes when you're throwing your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that. They're trying to get to it. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Coaches practice red zone more than ever, especially defensively. You know you're going to give up yards. You know you're going to pile it up like crazy now with spread and with tempo. What a great job the last two plays. How do you drop that? The passing attack and get to the quarterback and get him on the ground. Oh, and he dropped it. He had a touchdown right in his hands and couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. Well, that's just piling on. Not the title of the guys, just the goal. So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away, and hoping that'll be the final point of this first half. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Southern Mississippi ready to send that offense back onto the field. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm not taking it into halftime, too, Clint, but I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something new. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And the Golden Eagles will hustle through the line.
Damn. in this game like that third down right there when it's a good throw you got to make the catch you got to be able to make that play that's going to wrap up the first half here and now we join kevin with the halftime update kentucky teeing it up and ready to go here in the second half and he takes this from inside the five he was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Southern Mississippi has it back in the Golden Eagle offense headed to the field. Huge deficit to start this third quarter. They just need to find something to build a little confidence. Yeah, it hasn't gone well. Um, when you're trailing by this much, this first drive, man, does everything matter and hinge on this because every possession in the second half is going to be critical. Yeah, and I think if you're on offense, why hold back? We've seen this offense struggle early in this game, protecting the quarterback. They went in at halftime, thought they'd made the right adjustments, but it's not looking like it right now. They're still having issues keeping this guy standing up straight up front. They're just getting beat across the board. Oh, they finally had some bad. A huge pickup on that play. And the Golden Eagles have it with the first and ten. Running back searching for a hole. Got enough for the first. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. They picked up a couple of first downs to start this drive, and now first and 10 from the 47. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Here's an opportunity for this offense in search of its first touchdown. It's first and ten. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. He'll try to pop the draw. And this one will be stopped for no game. That DB had a different story. He had something to say coming up, making a physical tackle. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a third down. And on that third down play, there just wasn't any time in between the quarterback as an intended target. As a result, now that's a complete set. Big five man, fake. The Golden Eagles will line up the punter away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Kentucky has it back in the big blue offense, takes the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David. But chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns on the red area. You got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offense is the ones that run the ball. So, let's see if they can be a little bit more physical. Five taking away as we have four minutes left here in the third. From the gun, he leaves it with the bat. On the move at the 30. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling there out to the 35. A productive play is the one that gets you at least halfway to another first down here on first and ten. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Good pickup on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Looking for a crease, it's Trainer. He's knocked down in the backfield, he'll lose a couple. This defense obviously knows they've got to be able to stop the run if they're going to win this football game. And you wonder if they've been able to make some tweaks and adjustments to try and take this running back away. Looking downfield, it's Vandergrift. He'll off one deep down the left side. And he holds it in inside the 30. He just lost some serious energy making that huge play and getting it all the way down to the 23 yard line. Got it. 
This Kentucky offense really moving the ball quickly. Give to the running back. Gets away from one, finds room. He's racked up 92 yards rushing, and this offense wanted to establish the ground game. And man, have they started the season right in that regard. Six yard pickup on first down, leaves him with second and four. From the red zone, it's Trader. Defense there to stop him after a pickup of two down to the 15. Number seven on this drive, and it'll be third and two. Can we get a first down, please? They'll try to pick up the first through the air. They've got the screen set up. Couldn't quite nudge it. I'm not sure you can get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing, offensive line allowed everybody to run up field, and they slip in the running back screen, and behind it, there was nobody. Touchdown, Wildcats! And the pummeling has started. Everybody's getting in on the first half of the offense from the opening whistle. They have been up and down the field. Starters are scoring. We've got backups in the game now. And I love the play calling. These guys came to your school to play in this offense to score touchdowns. So let them go do it. Make this defense prove they can stop. And the kick is good, but there's a penalty flag, and I think it's going to be rushing the kicker. Rushing the kicker. Kicker. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They're lining up to kick it off, and he ought to be able to knock this one anywhere he wants after that extra 15 yards with the roughing the kicker. No chance for a return as that ball flies out of the back of the end zone. The offense lining up for a first down play. The Giants are cheap. Leaves it with the running back. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Let's go! On the run, it's Sprottermaker. Oh, so close to paying off the tip, really had it in his hands. It is incomplete. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. They try to pop a run on the draw. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. And the Golden Eagles will punt it away on fourth down. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Kicks it high and it's just hanging there as if it has helium in it. Floating down toward the earth. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Fast motion from the offense. Trying to use the speed on the jet sweep. Still running at the 40. Just what they were looking for, and he's got him set up in business at the 35. As they get set seven time winding down here in the quarter. Guys, at the end of the quarter, and Kentucky has the lead. And they built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we got here. On the move. He's up to 113 yards on the day, and the defense has been getting a steady diet of this dude on opening day. Yep. Your pickup on first down leaves him with second and short. On the ground, it's training. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Here comes third and short from the 27. This defense trying to make them settle for a field goal. The back goes in motion. To the air, it's Vandergrip. Throws toward the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky. And the punishment has been extended. Too easy. Yeah, the offense putting up more points than guess who's jacked up. This 
home crowd start the season off with offensive fireworks and looking to go 1-0. They are loving their squad. Now they'll line up with what they hold is on the And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Michigan is currently up big right now in a game they'll be talking about in Ann Arbor for a long time. They're up 14 over Fresno State. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here with a big lead in the game. You're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Right on target this time. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there. Still a little brown cover to pick up the first. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? Working on the right. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving and they've got it at the 45. The Golden Eagles will have it first and 10. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game, but trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. The aerial assault continues. Catch in the middle, it's Pittman. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. The junior quarterback frustrated with himself after throwing it behind his man. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Wants to throw on third. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him, knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Thought he had it and couldn't get wow. it. Wow. Right. He missed it. The idea was to draw just a tad closer instead of the mountain is still enormous. Kentucky has it back in the big blue offense, takes the field. They'll leave it with him. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. After the productive first down play in second and six. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Tackle was made after the first down. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football. He has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. They'll mark him down right there, but it'll be enough for a Kentucky first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Leaves it with the back. They'll give him four on that one. It's third and six. Trying to pick up a first down. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Finds a man on the right. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pick up on that one. They showed great trust in their quarterback right Man. there. He's had an outstanding game. The outstanding game has taken care of the football. Now late in the game, you've got the lead. That first down now tells me now it's time to start running the football. Run the clock. Get out of here with the dunk. Didn't get much on first down in second and nine. He leaves it with the back. He smashes his way through again. Touchdown, Wildcats! And the round is on. Oh, this is great.
been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense obviously just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. Ready to try the point after. Is on to the extra point. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They took it 68 yards on that drive, and they finished it off with a 17-yard touchdown run. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Southern Mississippi ready to send that offense back onto the field. Wide receiver now comes in motion. He wants to throw. That's real man. It's Clay. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. An explosive play to start the drive, and they'll try to keep the D on its heels. Wants to throw on first down. He's got it. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the well. first down. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. He's going to pass. A strike downfield. Brought down at the 28. A chunk play. 15 yards on that one. And a first down. And the Golden Eagles come to the line with a new set of downs. To the air on first down. Finds his man. It's Pittman. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first yeah. down. Oh. The Golden Eagles are in the red zone. He wants to throw it again. That friend he dropped. And, complete. and complete. this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong. Right? Like they just haven't been in a rhythm, they haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is this is one of those days you can learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're gonna show in the film that people are gonna like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can't pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. So now on comes the field goal unit. From the left hash, his distance ought to make that angle pretty easy to handle. It is perfect. And they'll put three on the board, but the deficit remains huge. And you just sort of wonder if that's some kind of moral victory from the head coach. You're not going to get shut out in front of all these eyeballs. We're just going to put three points up on the board. As a player, I used to absolutely hate that if I was on the losing team. Because you're just trying to save face. I want to go down and try and score a touchdown. I know the chances are great, but let me go out there and do that. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with a victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today, too. They had a really good game plan coming to this one. They went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and we keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them. Or they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that one play to pick up the first. And this is exactly where you want to be as an offensive player. Like when you've got the lead late in the football game, just run the football, eat the clock. Man, they put a good day together. They, they, they've had a, they did their way with this defense. A lot of positive things to point to. This is one of those weeks when you watch tape, it's going to be really fun to watch. It's not like when you get beat up. A lot of big plays with this offense. Here they come, first and ten from the 48. They'll ride the running back and leave it with it. A solid pick up there before the defense is able to make the stop. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. They'll put the tight end in motion. Give to the single back. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? Off. 
They get a big win here and start the season on a positive note.